In October 2022, something extraordinary happened in the cosmos. A flash of light, brighter and more intense than anything ever recorded by humanity, traveled across the universe. This event, nicknamed BOAT, short for brightest of all time, wasn't just a display of cosmic power. It released more energy in seconds than our sun will emit over its entire 9 billion year lifespan. This phenomenon has sparked a series of questions and mysteries that continue to intrigue scientists. You're watching Astronomical Secrets, and today we're unraveling the enigma of the largest and brightest gamma-ray burst ever observed. What caused this colossal explosion? How does it differ from other similar events? And what can it teach us about the universe and the particles that make it up? Gamma-ray bursts, or GRBs, are brief, intense flashes of gamma radiation lasting from milliseconds to several minutes. These phenomena were first detected in 1967 when American satellites, designed to monitor Soviet nuclear tests, picked up an unusual pattern of electromagnetic energy. Since then, these bursts have become of immense interest to the scientific community because they offer a unique window into states of matter and physics that cannot be replicated on Earth. Essentially, they allow scientists to study the formation and evolution of stars across the entire timeline of the universe. There are two main types of gamma-ray bursts. Short bursts last less than two seconds and typically result from the collision of two neutron stars or the merger between a neutron star and a black hole. These events can be followed by a kilonova, a glow caused by the radioactive decay of newly formed chemical elements, creating even heavier elements, something we'll discuss later. On the other hand, long bursts last more than two seconds and are attributed to the explosive death of massive stars, which result in supernovae. The collapsed cores of these stars can form a neutron star or a black hole. These bursts generally occur at the edges of the observable universe, as they are characteristic of low-metallicity stars, formed in times when there were fewer heavy elements. When we observe one of these bursts, we are witnessing events that happened billions of years ago. In both cases, whether short or long bursts, the newly formed black hole emits jets in opposite directions, composed of particles accelerated to nearly the speed of light. When these particles interact with the surrounding matter, they emit the gamma rays that we detect. The boat lasted an impressive 10 minutes and remained detectable for 10 hours after the event. It occurred in the constellation Sagitta, the arrow, just 1.24 billion light years away, much closer than other gamma ray bursts ever recorded. An event this bright and this close to Earth is considered something that happens once every 10,000 years. To put it into perspective, the last time something like this occurred, humans had barely begun practicing agriculture. We know that a massive star collapsing and exploding caused the boat. But surprisingly, a supernova alone cannot explain the magnitude of the emitted gamma rays. The boat was 70 times stronger than any other recorded gamma ray burst. Initially, it was thought that the event could have been caused by the explosion of a giant star, something rarely seen. However, Upon analyzing the afterglow of the burst, scientists discovered that the supernova behind the boat was actually ordinary, almost insignificant compared to the gamma-ray burst that accompanied it. The mystery of the particle jets. To better understand, astronomers pointed the James Webb Space Telescope at the boat. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph revealed that the supernova behind the boat wasn't as bright as expected given the intensity of the gamma rays. So what could have caused such a powerful flash? One idea is that we perceived the flash as larger and brighter because of Earth's relative position to the burst. Imagine a flashlight shining in the dark. It softly illuminates the path ahead. Now, imagine focusing all that light into a single laser beam. While the laser doesn't illuminate as much as the flashlight, it would reach a much greater distance. If Earth were in the direct path of that laser, the recorded brightness would be much more intense. This doesn't mean the laser released more energy than the flashlight, only that the way it was detected resulted in a higher reading. The same concept can be applied to gamma-ray bursts. 
If a massive star is spinning very rapidly when it collapses, the shape and structure of the jets emitted at near-light speeds will be narrower and more focused, and therefore brighter. In fact, the jets seen in the boat are some of the narrowest ever observed. Impact on Earth But it wasn't just the brightness of the particle jets that surprised scientists. The speed and quantity of these particles were also astounding. They traveled with such fervor that, after 1.24 billion years traversing the cosmos, they arrived here and momentarily disturbed Earth's atmosphere. The ionosphere, which is between 30 and 621 miles above the surface of our planet, is rich in electrically charged particles. When the boat hit Earth, it caused an impact comparable to a large solar flare, pushing the ionosphere to lower altitudes. If photons from a burst that occurred 1.24 billion light-years away can have this kind of effect on our planet, imagine what would happen if something like this occurred in our cosmic backyard. New Possibilities for Physics The Large High-Altitude Air Shower Observatory, LHAASO, located in Daocheng County, China, managed to capture data on tens of thousands of photons during the initial event and in the afterglow. This amount of data is unprecedented in gamma-ray astronomy. In fact, it's something so extraordinary that some astrophysicists believe this data could point to something missing in our models. According to our current understanding, it's highly unlikely that these super-high-energy photons could have traveled 1.24 billion years without interference. The cosmic microwave background radiation, interactions with intergalactic dust, and the redshift caused by the expansion of the universe are all factors that could interfere with a photon's trajectory. One proposed hypothesis is that the photons converted into a hypothetical particle called an axion and then converted back into gamma rays upon reaching the magnetic field of our galaxy. Axions are considered ultralight particles responsible for dark matter. Their existence is purely hypothetical so far. There's no concrete evidence for them, and even if there were, they would be outside the standard model of particle physics. The Role of Collapsars in the Formation of Heavy Elements So far, we've established that the boat was caused by the collapse of a massive star and its transformation into a black hole, an event known as a collapser. Besides generating a long gamma-ray burst, collapsers are also known to produce something even more surprising – gold. Yes, you heard that right. But how is gold connected to gamma rays? To understand this, we need to discuss how elements are formed. The core of a star is an environment of extremely high pressure, about 200 billion times greater than atmospheric pressure on Earth. Under these conditions, nuclear fusion reactions create heavier elements from lighter ones. For example, a helium atom is formed from the fusion of four hydrogen atoms. Elements with atomic numbers 2 through 26 on the periodic table, from helium to iron, are formed this way, in a process known as stellar nucleosynthesis. However, once we reach iron, it's no longer energetically favorable to continue creating larger elements this way. So how do we explain the rest of the elements on the periodic table? Where do heavy elements like gold come from? How is gold formed? Today, we know of two different ways to form these elements. The first was recently confirmed by the Hubble Space Telescope, kilonovas. As mentioned earlier, kilonovas are formed by the merging of two neutron stars. These mergers release an immense amount of energy and are the primary source of elements like gold, platinum, and uranium. However, there's another pathway. A massive star can collapse in on itself, resulting in a supernova explosion that sends a stream of neutrinos into the cosmos. These neutrinos can transform the matter around the newly formed black hole, where heavy elements can be generated in a process known as collapsar nucleosynthesis. The boat may have generated more gold in seconds than all of human history. And it wasn't just gold. It likely also created elements like platinum and uranium. However, there's a catch. This process may be extremely rare since the formation rate of collapsars is very low. The Future of Gamma-Ray Exploration The boat was a singular event, 
a phenomenon so bright and intense that it was seen as a golden opportunity, literally, to study the mysteries of the cosmos. What we've learned so far from the boat is just beginning to reveal its implications. The discovery that axions may play a role in high-energy photons opens new doors for particle physics. Additionally, the detection of heavy elements in the burst's afterglow confirms the importance of collapsars in the formation of precious metals. We're only scratching the surface of what these cosmic events have to teach us. There is so much more to come, and the boat is a powerful reminder that the universe still holds many secrets. Science is constantly advancing, and it's up to us, as explorers of the cosmos, to keep pushing forward in the search for answers. Conclusion The boat has shown us that the universe is full of surprises and that even after decades of exploration, we still have much to learn. This gamma-ray burst not only broke records, but also gave us new clues about the physics of the universe, the formation of elements, and the particles that may be beyond our current understanding. So, if you're fascinated by these cosmic mysteries, keep following Astronomical Secrets. We'll continue exploring the universe together, uncovering the secrets it holds, and bringing you the most fascinating discoveries in astronomy. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share your theories and questions in the comments. The universe is vast, and together, we can unravel it a little more each day.